work, well, the audience may not know this, but I work at a little place called Dave and Buster's. So uh-huh. in Dave and Buster's, right, you know, like you go there, you can eat food, you can play games because they got like an arcade or whatever. Yeah, it's adult and, Chuck E. Cheese. Right, yeah, it's it's exactly how I put it. But with actual good food and not cardboard with pizza. A better um, ball pit. <laughs> sadly, there's no ball pit. I wish there was. <sighs> but I actually, I kind of don't because then I would have to clean it and that would be terrible. Yeah. Um, yeah. That would be a way worse to clean. <laughs> Why is there a used condom in here? Anyway. Uh, oh, what do you find in your arcade machines? Uh, I don't want to go to Chuck E. Cheese anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, so at a place like this, I mean, obviously, you play the games, you can, like, win tickets, you can redeem, the, redeem them for prizes, right? And so the cool thing about uh, Dave & Buster's is they got some, like, big-time prizes. They got, like, you can win, like, Xbox Ones, PS4s, PS4 games, Switch games, Xbox One games, like, Solid. all kinds of video game goodies, um, among other things, like little tech gadgets and little knickknacks that no one cares about. Um, so uh, amongst these these games, we have, like, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, and Destiny 2, and, like, Sonic Mania, hmm. and uh, Final Fantasy XII, so here's the thing. So I, w- I was at the front desk and uh, talking to the girl that works there because um, she's new or whatever. And I hear someone call over the radio like, or no, somebody somebody called the phone. Somebody called the front desk phone and was like, hey, what games do you guys have for PS4? And so she radios Winter Circle. She's like, hey, so what do we, what do we have for PS4? Like what games? And nobody answered. So one of the managers overheard, went back to the Winter Circle and started naming off the games. And so they're like, oh, we have Uncharted, Destiny 2, Sonic Mania, Final Fantasy 7. I'm like, what? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, it it's it's Final Fantasy 12. <laughs> And she's like, she's like, okay. excuse me, ma'am. I was like, I was like, it's Final Fantasy twelve. Don't tell them seven because they might. They, I don't know what they'll do if they think it's seven or not. Because they're like, oh, they got the remake yeah. early. Yeah, they might crash yeah. their car on the way there. Yeah. Yes. I'm like, it's it's twelve. God, Dave and Buster's so, exclusive. Yeah. So I I run back to the uh, I run to the to the back where the kitchen's at. And I see that uh, the same manager, and I'm like, "Bro," and he's like, "What? It's I'm like, it's it's 12." And he's <laughs> you like, "You will not let this go." <laughs> I'm like, and he's like, "What do you mean?" I'm like, "Bro, it's it's XII is 12, <laughs> VII would be seven. <laughs> That's really fascinating. And, I wonder if uh, people that are just casual to the series just call every Final Fantasy game Final Fantasy seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it was on like Pepsi, you know, 12 packs back in the day. That's how big was it was. It? Yeah, they had advertising all over the place. I did not know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They had Pepsi yeah. cans with Cloud on it on his bike. Dude, that's kind of awesome. That's worth, Those are probably worth money now. I do wish I saved one, yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I don't know. Like, it, I just, that was one of those things where I'm like, of course. Of course. Just, like, like do, do you guys not learn Roman numerals much anymore? Is that kind of... I learned, I learned all my Roman numerals in eighth grade. I'll never forget it. I never was taught Roman numerals. I just kind of picked it up. Yeah. Right, from like movies and Final Fantasy. Doom 2 and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, they made us count to like, man, I think like the tens or hundreds of thousands in Roman numerals in eighth grade. Yikes. Oh, damn. Yikes. Yeah. So I, I, I don't think I can probably remember all of it, but I remember most of it. I think M is 1,000, C is 50 or something like that. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's one of those stupid little things. I'm like, dude, it's it's 12, and he's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you shut your face. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, dude, you're a little bit. You're probably about 20 years late on that game, there, man. <laughs> Yikes. That's uh, funny. Yeah. Welcome to the Tiny Disc Podcast, episode 17. Uh, I'm Robert Scarpinito, and I'm joined here by Jack Cepeda. We're only 17, 17. I have not heard that song in a minute. Yeah, I just thought of it. I, I, invented, I wrote that song, guys. Oh, that was really? me. oh wow. Yeah. Um, bong, 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 bong. And we also have Colin Sparling. You know, I, I, really need, I really need some sort of catchphrase to put in this exact spot right here. <laughs> I, I thought mean, we had one. I mean, do I, though? Jack? No. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it was, <laughs> Somewhere along those, <laughs> me? 
<laughs> hey, I don't know. It does. Uh, do oh, you, yeah. dog? That's all I can I say. I don't know. I'll, I'll come up with something, but for right now, I'm going to say hashtag ro- learn your Roman numerals for now. How about that? Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> that's a catchy one. That's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Colin, yeah. Colin, it's actually Final Fantasy 12 Sparling. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that just rolls off the tongue. It really does. <laughs> Actually, I just love. It. I just imagine Actually, look on your face when you say that. Like um, push up my glasses on my yeah. face as I say Pardon that. me, that's Final Fantasy. T- <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I would have had like those Coke bottle glasses to put on just for that particular oh particular God. bit. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> All right, we're here to just talk to you about video games and kind of life. For this episode, we've decided to do something a little bit special. We've decided that we're going to do another top 10 list. The last one we did was a couple weeks ago. We did top 10 villains, which you can go back and listen to if you'd like. I think it was a great episode. Um, For this episode, we're deciding we're going to rank the top 10 time suckers in video games. And this is going to be an ordered list, and we're starting from uh, 23 worthy candidates, and then we're going to whittle it down, and blood will be shed, I think, on this podcast oh, today. Oh, for sure. Um, guys, guys, somebody might be kick- getting kicked out of the podcast after this. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, just to get Off things... the island. <laughs> just to get things straight, a Time Sucker is not the sequel to Time Splitters. A Time Sucker is a game that you're sitting there, you're playing it, and you get really, really into it, and you're just... You're there, you're in the zone, and then when you stop playing, you look up at the clock and you realize, like, eight hours have passed, or way more time than you expected has passed. Right, and another kind of criteria that I have, secondary criteria, is that it's a game that when you're not playing it, you're thinking about it, and it's just kind of, like, taking over, and you don't really want to play any other games at the same time because you're so focused on this one. It's just really kind of taking hold of uh, your free time, and so... We have a list, guys. I don't know. How do you want to tackle this? There's 23 games right now. Should we just read them down? Yeah. I mean, I, th- I, think I would just like to say real quick that Time Sucker sounds like something that would be in a game that's rated T for teen. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's a sequel to Conquer, guys. <laughs> oh, gosh. Conquer um, Time Suckers. Okay. With uh, something with really edgy teenagers in it. But anyway. Colin, do you want to read the, the list of the 23 candidates? And now, this is in no particular uh, yeah. order. We just these are the ones we came up with off top of our head, and this is where the list is right now. So, what are the candidates for top ten time suckers in video games? Yeah, like so, like Jack said, we have twenty three candidates for top ten time suckers. So, starting at uh, and yeah, like we said, no particular order. Uh, first one is Civ Five, Skyrim, Fallout Three, Diablo Three, Persona Four, Persona Four or Persona Four Golden. They're uh, interchangeable here. City Skylines. Animal Crossing New Leaf, Stardew Valley, Sims 2, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Overwatch, Players Unknown's Battlegrounds. Excuse me. <laughs> League of Legends, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Borderlands, GTA 5, Rocket League, World of Warcraft, Dark Souls, Minecraft, Resident Evil 4, <laughs> The Witcher 3, and finally Street Fighter 2. I'm sorry. So- what, what was that? Minecraft? <laughs> <laughs> Mayan calendar craft. Did uh must have slipped my tongue. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> so, Minecraft. Here is where this all goes south. So we were trying really hard before the show to get this list down to 20, and we couldn't do it. Yeah. <laughs> we spent like two days <laughs> trying to get this down to 20, and we can't. And I'm like, this is a really bad omen. If we can't even like get this down to 20, how are we going to get it down to 10? So that's what I mean when... like blood will be spilled here I yeah think we're, we're, we're sitting a, here with i know you can't see us but we're sitting here with like sword in hand we're ready to yes. go to battle <laughs> i think alliances will be forged uh friends will become enemies enemies will become friends and we will see but i'm actually curious to see how this all shakes out so we're gonna follow uh much the same format as we did with our top 10 villains in video games of all time uh we're going to just kind of go around a circle and we're going to nominate one to cut yep. and so who wants to go first? Because <laughs> I don't. Yikes. Robert, Robert wants to. Uh, do I, though? Oh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to say Borderlands. Oh, man. Mm. Borderlands by Gearbox like, Studio Software. Uh, 2009. Like the, like the bookstore, right? Yeah, uh, exactly like Border- the bookstore. Um, uh. <laughs> here's the thing. 
I sp- don't like I've spent a lot of my time in Borderlands 2. I think it's a very fun game, an easy game to kind of like fall into and fall into the grind of it and whatever. I just don't I already don't see it being top 10 material compared to some of the other titles on this list. <clears throat> Hmm. So that's hmm. kind of my argument for that question. If this hmm. was Borderlands 2, would you be cutting it still? Yes. Really? Right now you would first? Yes. Hmm. Wow. I, I think in terms of top 10, I I think I can I can agree with Robert that it, that it wouldn't make top 10. I mean, I cannot deny how many hundreds of hours I spent in that game. And I played that game split screen with someone sitting next to me on the couch. And we played it that way with half a screen. And Yikes. I don't know if you guys remember, but the uh, the uh, item management, the inventory management on that game already wasn't that great. But split screen, it was an absolute nightmare. But the gameplay was so addicting that we put up with it. Oh yeah, that inventory so, management was a mess. Split screen. No, Thank God it I was, didn't play that much split screen either. Yeah, it was it was bad times, but it was great times too. <sighs> like, I here's I, the thing. I, Don't get me wrong. If Borderlands Three drops, I'm probably gonna buy it day one. I would be very excited for the idea of like a Borderlands Three, and I'll probably play tens, maybe hundreds of hours of Borderlands mm. Three. But I think just compared to some of the other titles on this list, I'm not feeling okay. it's top ten material. They're still, they're still going to have to sell me on Borderlands 3. I'm not convinced just by saying that name. They're going to have to do some some improvements to it. If it's just like uh, the last two Borderlands games, like I've said before, like no no sale. But I am going to come at it with a fresh take you know, and, and give them a fair shot. So I do follow what you guys are saying. Uh, on this list, I don't know that it makes the top 10. And that's really what it's all about right now. Yep. Uh, so I guess we'd have to cut it. So Borderlands gone. There you go. The first cut. And it's been it's been 12 minutes. So I think we're doing pretty well. And no blood <laughs> has been shed, at least as far okay. as I know. Uh, what? Okay. You know what would be funny? Watch us like we're preparing for this all to be a long like conversation. Watch us all just like agree like yeah, instantly. Like, and be uh-huh. like, oh, 20 minutes. Oh, that was so easy. <laughs> oh, man. Now we got to do 20 more minutes yeah. of podcast. Uh, yeah. Now we got to do an sh- actual show think, this week. <laughs> I think the the thing that we were running into last time, too, was like, I think we were trying too much to make a, beyond, like a below, like a bottom 10 as well or something like that. Yeah. That, okay. I remember getting yeah. And messy. I don't think, I, yeah. And I don't think we need to do that. We just worry, make sure we worry about what's in the top 10 and that's it. Right. Okay. okay. So yeah. next, uh, I will you nominate. go next, Colin? Yeah, oh. Colin. Oh, me next? Okay, um, okay. So I'm looking down the list. Uh, what sticks out? What sticks out? What sticks out? Um, hmm. I I, I think another another one would be Sims Two, Sims Two. Hmm. Wow, um, that's surprising, actually. Huh? I can yeah, hear I, I some tears falling somewhere <laughs> out there in the world. My tears don't fall; they crash around me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> my uh, conscience call my conscience calls <laughs> feels guilty to come home i'm sorry i'm so sorry can, can we not okay. can we not <laughs> please <laughs> i'm surprised rapper got that one <laughs> okay okay so what's, metal metal song references so what's your argument for cutting sims 2 this early in the game my friend uh, so earlier I, than I thought, yeah. Dude, I looked down this list, man, and I just, I mean, at this point, I just see a lot of really, really impressive games that take my heart a little bit more than Sims 2 does. And in terms of top 10, I just don't think Sims 2 is there. Mm. Mm. Counter argument. I know many people who I would not call them gamers. You know, if anything, they're like, I play Candy Crush on my phone or something like that. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, can, I see where you're going with this. You can put them in the same they, league as those people, like Sims players. Right, yeah. no, they play the shit out of Sims 2. And, they, and like they're right. not like into Call of Duty. They're not into Halo. They're not into like anything that's like big games. You know, they wouldn't play Persona in their life. But Sims 2, put a Sims game in front of them, they'll have the time of their lives. Hmm. I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Dude, um, it's a landmark release. It's a landmark release. Mm-hmm. Sims 2 over the original Sims, though. Yes, for sure. Okay. But... Yeah, I feel I feel like I this could just be me, um, but I was very young at the time, too, but I, I feel like Sims 2 was what garnered the most hype out of the Sims series. Like, I don't think when Sims 3 came out, or Sims 4 for that matter, 
there was like a hu- like there was a buzz, of course, but it wasn't like huge buzz like Sims Two was. I feel like. Yeah. Did Sims Two come out to console PS Two? Yes, it did. It was, was on that GameCube, the, was Xbox, that the first and one? PS2. Was that the first Sims game on console? No, the original was also on console. I remember playing it. Oh, really? I remember the fervor <laughs> yeah. around Sims 2 when it came out on PS2. Um, I remember my friends like literally going to the store day of to get it. Yeah. Uh, it, not to mention all the offshoots they did, too. Sims 2 Pets, Sims 2 what, In the Seasons, City or something like University, that. University, Nightlife. Like, okay. Yeah, it was There's, ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it came out in 2004. Man. EA uh, published, published it. it. Maxis yeah. uh, developed it. I, I yeah. Listen, I can understand people's arguments that it is an, an incredible time sucker. It's almost the epitome of that. But I cannot also deny that I didn't play it, so I can't like support it as strongly as some of these other games here. Oh. So I can't really like mount a great defense to keep it on, even though I recognize and you know give props. And it's, hey, it's nominated. It's on this list. Man, of 23. I am reticent to concede to you guys because I spent a lot of time in Sims 2 and breaking Sims mm-hmm. 2 and killing a bunch of Sims in Sims 2. But I mean, listen, after you create a Sim and you put them in a like one foot by one foot room and watch them starve to death, like what else is there to do in that game? You could create an elaborate dungeon. <laughs> So it's just Techno's <laughs> deception then. Yeah, it's basically just how fucked up can you get with The Sims. Huh. And then there's also like playing The mm. Sims for real, you know, like actually yeah. doing the whole career thing and get them to go to college, get yeah. a job. Yeah. Yeah. All that huh. real I, life stuff. Yeah. I don't know, man. If you can, Bro, I mean, this is tough. Yeah. I'm saying I, I can't support it by recognize it, you know, its role in video game history. Uh, but. I, I I'm looking at the other games and there's definitely yeah. ten more games on here. So yeah. unless you can really sell me on it, I can't I can't argue. I don't know. I don't think I could sell you guys on it. I think the the strongest point I have is the fact that it has pierced the very casual gaming market, and I think there's just sure. a lot of people who have who at least recognize the name Sims. Oh yeah, you know what I mean. Still, still to this day, even though it's not really a thing anymore. Yeah, I mean Sims Four is still around, but it's like. Yeah. Was, it's was out Sims, of limelight. Yeah, was Sims yeah. 4 even good? I, didn't it get like kind of mediocre reviews? Yeah, it was very middle of the road. Um, and then SimCity mm-hmm. wasn't good either, so. Yeah, but good thing we have City Skylines to save it. Hey. hey. All right, I think let's cut Sims Dose. All right, and go ahead and okay. delete it. We pass list. the baton now to Jack, which I have a feeling I know the first game he's going to no. say. No. You're wrong. You're wrong. All you're right. wrong. Because I know what you're going to. I know what you're thinking. But. <laughs> If any game must die by my own hand, oh my jeez, wow! I'm going Damn. to make it Resident Evil Four. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> I love Resident Evil Four. I love Resident Evil Four. It's one of my favorite games of all time. It is absolutely. If we were doing most influential games of all time, it would certainly be in the top ten. I think. I agree. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, just such a landmark release and it came out also in january of 2005 which is typically a very dead period for game releases especially back then 2005 january through april really uh was was almost nothing right uh but you know i i love this game i have so much respect so much adoration so many accolades how many can i hurl at resident evil it's my favorite resident evil game easily and that's even over one and two Resident Evil 4 is a better game and a better experience on GameCube. I would recommend playing it on GameCube if you possibly can. It's on, like, every platform available. Almost as many platforms as Skyrim. <laughs> but, uh, no, Resident Evil 4, it, it's going to have to, uh, again, die by thine own hand. And I'm, I'm prepared to cut it now. I am surprised. You guys. Yeah, I, I know. Am. Like I said, I want to be the one to kill it. You know, it's my dog. I'm taking it out back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Resident Yeller. 4, the old Yeller of Resident Evil. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, Yeller. But, I, but, uh, back. I love sorry, this buddy. game so much. If you've never played a Resident Evil game, Resident Evil 4 is absolutely the one to play. For sure. Um, I, I will I, I will say, like, Resident Evil 4 was probably the first time I'd ever experienced, I think, true atmosphere. It was, oh, like, yeah. one of the first yes. times I had real... Like, I had really been conscious of the way a game sets you up and the way it makes you feel i guess if, if mm-hmm. that makes sense you know totally. what i mean just totally the overall vibe it's a very foreboding feeling game um 
but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a landmark game for sure. Like, I mean, what what can I say that's not already been said? But yeah, I mean, it's hell of a send off though. Yeah, I've I've beaten that game at least four times in my life. I'm you same. know, it, it's too. it's something where because they do that thing where even though you've beaten the story and you know what's coming next, you can like earn more guns and stuff, and you know, like play the game in different ways. And I know. actually played that like side mission mode where it's like a race. I can't remember what exactly it was called, uh, but it's like they put yeah, mer- I think that's what it was. They put you in this like arena, and then it's kind of like a horde mode, and you have to kill them, uh, you know, within a given period of time. And I like actually took the time to master those the shooting mechanics, which were not good. Yeah, by the way, if you try and tough. go back to them, yeah, they were it was hard to master, but because you use this laser sight and everything, but and I, you couldn't I, speaking, move while you were shooting. Ex- Exactly, you were planted in place. Yeah, it was really. It's really weird to go back to the old, um, the old style now that's uh, post Gears of War, which has, is heavily, heavily inspired by uh, Resident Evil Four. But ta- speaking back, Colin, to what you said about atmosphere, yeah, I totally agree. It was actually when I really searched my memory, Resident Evil Four might be the last game that I ever played that literally made me jump out and scream out of my chair. <clears throat> And that scene in the very beginning, it's very close to the beginning, where you're in the, uh, the forest and it's foggy and, and, and night is uh, creeping up and there's uh, those mines. Do you remember those mines you have to shoot or if you don't shoot them and, oh, and you trip yeah. the wire, mm. they explode? Yeah. So I tripped a mine and I had like a room full of friends watch me play this game and I literally jumped up and screamed. And I think <laughs> it's the last time in a video game that I've ever done that. I can't really Damn. think of another time. Yeah. Um, but then also when the big, heavy uh, enemy with the bag, the with the potato sack over his head and the chainsaw, the chainsaw, yeah, the first time he actually like chainsaws your head off, I was like shocked. I was just like slack jaw staring at the screen, like that's the most graphic death I've ever seen at that point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you that know? that game still makes me a little weird around chainsaws. I'm not gonna lie, I still like look at a chainsaw and I'm like. Ugh. Ouch! Resident the Evil. sound, yeah, the sound design. I mean, man, it's a masterpiece. But I don't know. I, I, I just don't know if, if it, it goes into a different list. Like I said, yes. one of the most influential video games of all time. Maybe not necessarily one of the top ten time suckers of video games, but certainly a game that at least uh, Robert and myself spent dozens upon dozens upon dozens of hours in. For sure, man. I'm, okay. I didn't think I'd feel this sad to see this one go from the list, but. Mm. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Ooh. Oh, man. Okay, so we All are right, down guys, to 20 now. Of... Oh, that yep. feels so weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hmm. So now it's, to get through. it's my yeah, turn it's now, right? Yours, to kill something. Yes. We need to get to a top 10, and then once we get to 10, we're going to start ordering them and ranking them. Yikes. Okay. I might throw my hat at Rocket League. Oh, oh, mm. oh, I don't know about that at all. Mm. I don't know. I, okay, okay, hold, hold on, hold I on, don't hold know about on, that hold at on. All. Let, I'll hear you out. What? Mm. It's like compared to these other games. I mean, I wasn't taken. Mm. I wasn't taken by Rocket League that much. I think it's very fun, but I haven't played it in like months and I feel absolutely no drive to go back and I only have like 13 hours in it. Hmm. I mean, mm. it's it's definitely. I will say it's definitely a game that you're more motivated to play if you have friends to consistently play with. Like, it, it, if I get on PlayStation and my friends are like, "Hey, man, can you like drop what you're doing and like come play, <laughs> come play Rocket League with us?" I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? You know, it's fucking Rocket League. It's fine. It's fun. But that's that argument though is for almost every video game ever. Yeah, I mean, you know, almost every game's better with friends. Lands, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I don't know. Just when I look at it, I think that there are a lot of other games here that deserve to be in the top ten. I mean, I, the only I mean, what I, what I will say about Rocket League is I have had plenty of nights where I'll be like, oh yeah, I'll just jump on and play Rocket League for a game or two, and then you know, me and my friend will be playing, or me and a couple friends. And then it'll be like twenty or thirty games later, I'll be like, well, shit, <laughs> it's like four a.m. Yeah, I totally agree. It's one of those games you don't want to stop. You don't want to go to bed yeah. when you're in a, when you're on a roll. You do dude, not want to stop. Yeah, dude. When when you score that sick goal and you're like, yeah, like I've, ju- I've literally jumped off my couch yeah. and be like, fuck it, I. Like, it actually feels like a real sport. And yeah, the does. thing about Rocket League is it masters that one component of the greatest games, not just video games, but just games that human beings play. That that key element, which is 
a minute to learn and a lifetime to master. And it actually takes true technique, true hand-eye coordination. And, and when you actually nail that sick move or that sick shot or pass or bounce off the wall or, or, or um, air kick or whatever, bicycle kick, uh, it feels like it actually would feel when you're playing sport, like a team sport. It really feels that way because you have full control. No other game has, gives you that much direct control uh, of of your your character slash car. So that's true. That's true. And I still pick it up and play. I whenever I'm just like, huh, what do I play? Like Rocket League is like my go to. Like Dude, no, it's I like uh, <laughs> it's like uh, like video game comfort food. Totally is. Yeah, it's, it's, exactly the, fried it chi- it's the fried chicken <laughs> and mashed <laughs> potatoes of video games. And let me tell you, too, like <clears throat> uh, a lot of my coworkers, they wouldn't maybe describe themselves as hardcore gamers, but they all play Rocket League and they all ask me to play with them, too. And <laughs> uh, like, I'm telling you, I mean, it just has one of the most active, most ardent uh, uh, communities still in video games, still over a year after it's come out. Uh, when was it released? Uh Two years ago. 2015, yeah. 15, yeah. By Psyonix. Yeah, and it came out for free. I mean, coming out for free on PS3, uh, PlayStation Plus. PS4. No. It was was PS4. Yeah, my fault, my fault. Yeah, PS4 uh, coming out for free that first month, like, totally. Who would have known how huge the game would have gotten as a result of that? You know, Uh, and and that's funny that you say that, too, is because that's that's pretty much the sole reason why that game exploded, too. uh, Because there was actually actually a documentary by, uh, I believe, Noclip. Yeah, um, I, I saw that Rocket too. League and it's developed. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, that's the sole reason why Rocket League is as big as it is because they gambled on making it free for a month on PS Plus, and that's the way I got into it, and a whole it, lot yeah, of other people for sure. It would have been a good game. It still would have been a great game, but it probably would not um, have have had such huge, huge uh, community support if it didn't do that first month for free. So right. they look really smart for doing that. Uh, so okay. it's really hard for me to let that one go man i mean that's like to me that's like one of the great games of this generation and i think it'll be remembered like in history so all right i don't know then, is it just uh, is it just because is it just because you didn't play a lot of it personally yeah i mean i just don't <clears throat> see, like when i look at these other games on the list i just don't see myself like i'm looking at some of these games and when i'm trying to think do i want to cut that one off i'm like no there's a part of me that kind of wants to play it again though rocket league i don't <laughs> feel that See the thing about Rocket League is I could play any time of day, whenever, and have but, fun. But Jack, though, Jack, could could we make it top ten? Though, could we top ten it? I think there's an argument there. I don't know. I think. I mean, I, look okay. into your heart of hearts. Well, out let's, of all let's, of these I games, think, let's <laughs> let's table the discussion for now, then, and okay. let's see what Colin has to say about another game. Oh boy. Um. All right. So. Uh, I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. Street Fighter Two. I'm gonna. I'm gonna you. <laughs> going for the jugular. <laughs> That's crazy, and, dude. And listen, listen. I and I won't deny that Street Fighter Two is like. I mean, the game is. It's an absolute classic. I mean, the game is fucking legendary in status. Like the game is will go down in history of one of the game of games. Like. It's up there with, it's almost, it's practically up there with, like, Pac-Man and, like, Space Invaders when you think, like, stereotypical video games. You think, like, Street Fighter's pretty much there. So, I won't deny that, but I don't know if it could necessarily, I, like, I don't think I could even, in fighting games in general, I don't know if I could consider them time suckers for me. And... have you ever dedicated the time to mastering one of these fighting games? How big are you on fighting games, period, as a genre? I mean, I, I'm decently into fighting games. I'm definitely not, like, I don't go crazy about, like, mastering combos and all that. I do, I mean, I, I used to have, I, I go through phases where I want to, like, try and master, like, a character or two in a particular game. But I, I it, even then, I'm not spending an, an exorbitant amount of time in one given game, I would say. Like, I'm not staying up until you know, four in the morning playing Street Fighter or Dead or Alive or Mortal Kombat. I mean, Street Fighter 2 has its own industry around it. It's, ha- it ha- it's on ESPN. I mean, Evo every year in, in Vegas. It's a huge community. The FGC, fighting game community. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, it's just a massive game. And, and they treat it like this is their career. There are people that spend 
full time, you know, like 40, 50, 60 hours a week, like mastering this game and learning every nuance and every frame drop and every whatever. How you know? long each, uh, each moves like frame count is, whether you have yeah, frame it, advantage, it's disadvantage. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. It's absolutely a game people obsess over. It's a prof- it's literally a professional sport. It's literally but, a professional sport of a video game. I, I okay, so I think yeah, but that's that's more these people. Like okay, yeah, so it is like they are spending a lot of time with it, but it's not like they're stu- They're doing like they're doing unique things within the game that oh, are making dude, them spend choose more your time words carefully. Choose your words. They're doing unique shit in the game. Dude. No, I mean like like so. Something like Street Fighter 2, yeah, you're practicing the same moves and you're, you know, you're getting to know a character, but it's not like GTA 5 or World of Warcraft or Dark Souls where you're progressing and doing something and, you know, get, I mean, yeah, you're perfecting your own ability at the game. That's not a criteria, n- though. That's not a criteria of this list, your argument that you're mount, trying to mount right now. Like, this is a game that, again, with the two criteria that we outlined at the beginning is like... You are playing with your friends, and before you know it, it's one in the morning, two in the morning, and all you're playing is Street Fighter Two as, as a group, or you're playing online now. Um, and then when I'm not playing, and when I am heavy, heavy into it, like I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about how I can get better. I'm thinking about why can't I, you know, a- achieve this certain rank online or something like that. Like, what about my game? Can I improve? What do I need to work on? What are my weaknesses? So this mm. is a real hard sell for me. I mean, I would probably give up Rocket League before this one. But I don't know. I, I, but I feel like I'm also on an island here. I mean, it, and it's not. Yeah, and it's not anything to like take away from the game or anything. I just don't know if it would be top ten material within this list. But See, are all are, are all our final top ten all going to be like similar? You know what I mean, are we going to mm-hmm. have any like? Are we going to give any due to like, you know, diversity? Isn't there something to be said for a, a nice diverse list of ten? Or does that not factor into the decisions for you guys at all? Mm. Or are they all going to be oh all MMOs for instance because they just take the longest amount of time? No, because that's a dumb argument. But um, the way I'm thinking of it is that, like, as as someone who's newly getting into fighting games, I think this this podcast has kind of been chronicling my slow descent into madness of playing like Tekken and Guilty Gear a lot. Yeah. Um. I when I think of this list, when I think of someone who would be approaching this list, it'd be like, oh, I'm looking for a new game to play. Like that, that's kind of like something someone could come to this list for. And mm. I think the appeal of Street Fighter 2 is limited now only to the people who know what Street Fighter 2 was in the day and like know its impact in the fighting game community. But if you try to sell like if you try to sell to someone right now, hey, you should play Street Fighter like it's a fun fighting game. They're probably more apt to pick up four or five just because it's newer and shinier and has bells and whistles on it than you Street Fighter 2. You mean 16 bit like, you know, if that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. All right. Fine. I can go. (laughs) Are you, not happy, yeah, not happy about I, it, but I'm not I mean, happy about see, it, but I just don't. I'm I don't seeing both like sides of the coin here, but I just, I don't know. I don't know if I could argue it for the top 10, though. I've been playing it for more of my life than I haven't been playing it. <laughs> you know, as it came out in 1991, like they're, they're, you know what I mean? Like throw a dart at the dartboard of my life and chances are you'll, you'll hit a time where I was playing Street Fighter 2. Yeah. Does that make sense? Like, no, that that's how sense. much I've been playing it. If we're going by but, sheer hours here, it wins this list by country mile for me. If you go across all the Street Fighters, not specifically just Street Fighter 2. I don't so know. I'm I, kind of, so I'm kind of thinking of this more as like the franchise. I know that's not necessarily like fair, but I'm thinking like, well, all the times I've played all the Street Fighter games. Are like, you saying all the Street Fighter 2 <clears throat> games or like 2, 3, 4, 5? All the Street Fighter. Yeah, all the Street Fighters. Even like. EX plus Alpha, the Alpha. I mean, there's so many sh- offshoots and so many. Street Fighter goes deep, deep, deep. Right. And I play them all. And I've played the same character throughout them all. But, you know, they, they've been uh, iterated on and improved upon. Sometimes not and some sometimes not improved upon. But I've always played Street Fighter. I've always played uh, Ryu. And, yeah, so for me, I've spent just so much time in it. Again, it just fits the criteria of this list for me. But Would it be more fair than to just change it to the Street Fighter franchise? Because a lot of these other games on the list, like like Street Fighter is a platform. You know what I mean? Like That's how I think of it, yeah. Right. Whereas most of these mm-hmm. other games, it's, it's like 
you know, they're not as much platforms in their own right, you know, like some of them aren't. Mm -hmm. Uh, How do I phrase that? So I think there could be an argument made for Street Fighter, the franchise. Yeah, but I don't know if that's fair, though, because we're not doing franchises. Like, here's the thing. Like, I agree with you guys. Like, I'm willing to concede, I guess. You know, I just I stated what I what I how I feel about Street Fighter. I love the game. I would consider having a Street Fighter tattoo of some sort somewhere um but i don't know if it's gonna make the top 10 yes wow. i don't know if it's gonna make the top 10 but i don't i don't also i guess i just want to say this up front while we're still at 20 i'm just scared that like the top 10 list is going to be like oh well these are the longest games these are the ones that it takes the longest to beat rather than mm-hmm. the 10 games that we love spending the most amount of time in oh i i wouldn't you know like the games i would put higher than others are definitely games that are not just longest to beat for sure man for me it, this is this is just hard for me because like i remember the hours and hours i would stay up till two or three in the morning trying to master one specific combo you know and you really don't know you really don't know what that is unless you get real deep into the mechanics of the game because they put those mechanics there to be experimented with you know and then when you yeah. watch pro matches and you see things that you've been trying to do like <laughs> for months and you, you can maybe do it one out of uh, uh, 20 times and you see someone do it at will it's just so impressive and it just speaks to the amount of dedication and time that they put into the game it's kind of like skating like when a casual person watches like professional uh, skateboarding whatever uh, x games they're like oh that looks cool but the people that actually skateboard are like no that motherfucker you know practiced a lot to be able to do that you know they, they appreciate the nuance of it and so that's how i am with street fighter so i know like the blood sweat and tears and time that go into that game to be a pro at it and i respect it um but yeah but i i guess it can go now because i just because i don't think it would be top 10 maybe but it's it's a great game it's a great franchise play street fighter everybody i don't know I, i'm kind of leaning more personally toward i think i'd rather have rocket league off than street fighter off maybe it's like the fighting game communityness in me that kind mm-hmm. of understands the impact street fighter 2 ha- i mean hell they've released street fighter 2 Tur- Turbo Alpha HD Super Pro Remix Arcade Super Fire for the Switch <laughs> this year. You know what yeah, I mean? Plus Alpha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like they released another Street Fighter Two. Th- I know, just this and they're year. still charging forty dollars. <laughs> yeah, which kind of isn't worth it. But it, but the fact that a game that came out in nineteen ninety one still has a living, breathing legacy to this day. And like, by the way, is in the bestsellers of the Nintendo eShop too. It's in right. the bestsellers list. So, I mean, it. Well, sure, I guess. Yeah, I guess like I mean it in a literal sense it is a time sucker. Since it's been alive for what, twenty five years now? Six, yeah. yeah. Twenty six years, yeah. Twenty six years, yeah. Like uh. I I'm biased, but I'd lean toward nixing Rocket League rather than Street Fighter Dose. Okay. I can support that <sighs> right. right now. All right, all right. Oh. Yeah. I I'll, I'll I'll lean I'll reluctantly lead towards it with for, with you guys. But okay. are you sure you can handle that? Oh, yeah. oh, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure you can jokes. Okay. okay. I had to. I had to at some point. Woo! That yep. was a thing. All right. <laughs> yeah, we cut color. Rocket League. It hurt. <laughs> it did. But I don't like that. But is it whose turn is it? Is it my it, turn? It's now Jack. Yeah, it's your turn. Yes. All right. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at the time and I'm looking at this list. <laughs> I'm wondering yeah, what this podcast going to be. <laughs> All right. I think oh, we need man. to right. maybe speed yeah, it up we, a little bit. I am yeah, going. Yeah, just not not uh, revel so much in our memories a little bit. I am going in on Dark Souls. Yikes! Dark Souls. <laughs> there we go. Needs <laughs> to be cut. The time is now. I know we talked about speeding up, but hear me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, it's it's oh, it's the worst use of anyone's time. Okay, no, you're you're on about giving every game its due, and I swear to God, I'm gonna give this game its due. <laughs> In this in Dark Souls is a great game. Okay, I know someone it is a fucking fantastic. I, I know game. someone who's beaten it like seven or eight eight times. He is a walking Dark Souls wiki, um, and I think I understand the idea of it being a time sucker. I don't remember which of us put it down as a nominee, but there's the idea of like, I mean, yeah, you can beat the game over and over, and like each time the in a new game plus new game plus plus like things change a little bit. But beyond that, there's like farming for PvP, getting the right armor, figuring out which armor sets work for you, what's the best build, what are the best stats for it, etc. Like, it's almost MMOE in that sense. So there's like a lot to like 
keep earning and like making yourself better, making your character as strong as he can be. Hmm. Is that it? Yeah, no, I mean, it's going to be cut. I just thought we should give it its due <laughs> because your only your only due is this game sucks because I didn't know how to jump. Where's the jump button? No, I, I never <laughs> said that. Those are not my words. Uh, the Here, do you want to talk about why you think the game's good, Colin? And then I'll talk about why everyone's wrong on this podcast besides me. Yikes. Oh, man, I've already I've already put so so much into the arguing for this game behind the scenes. It was off air. Yes, we've had we've had. Uh, yeah tumultuous times when it comes to Dark I just Souls. I I just think that this this was for me personally this was I don't even know what the best word to describe this would be a renaissance of gaming like this is my own what? personal renaissance of gaming this huh. this Herbal. game for me okay like this cemented to me why I like video games as much as I do this game wow be- because because it challenged me because it it made me an overall better game gamer mechanic wise, and I mean, the and on top of that, it's got impeccable atmosphere and a lore that's not thrown in your face. But if you go looking for it, actually has a very melancholy but fantastic and filled out story. Mm. So and that I will bid it adieu, but very very reluctantly, for the sake of Jack. Wow, you guys aren't putting up much of a fight for me. I almost feel guilty like tearing into this game. Like, now. what are we gonna do, man? Like, what are we like, gonna do? Here, here's the thing: <laughs> we we could have this argument and take up the next thirty minutes because I know we have done that and taken up thirty minutes <laughs> multiple times <laughs> arguing about Dark Souls, and okay. I don't think we should do it again live. <laughs> okay, fine. I will not beat a dead horse while it's down, <laughs> but I will succinctly uh, and eloquently state why I th- am cutting this game. Okay. I recognize and I appreciate the fandom behind this entire series. I recognize it is a very important game in video games. Okay, I, so if this was the top ten most important games, I would entertain that conversation. However, when we're talking about time suckers, for me, I need it gone because it is a time sucker in the worst way possible. Whereas I've wasted, I felt like I've wasted so many, not so many, but I've wasted about six hours of my life. Like legitimately wasted and never have back again those six hours where I try to play the game and 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 figure out why everyone was so in love with it, and I and I did give it its fair time, right? I mean, how much more time do I need to put into a game when I have? I also am in the unique position where I want to play a lot of games, and I would also say that I can identify that if someone has one game and they're trying to get really good at it, I think Dark Souls would be a good one, you know, to take up a lot of time because it takes up a lot of your time because it's so balls hard. Um, but yeah, I came away six, seven hours after trying to understand the game and I literally made zero progress. Um, I lost all my souls or whatever the term is. And I just was like, oh, well, I'm back at this title scream again. Like, like I never played the game before. So that's why I I can't recommend it to anyone personally. I can never say, hey, you want to play a good video game, play Dark Souls. You'll really like it. And I, and I wouldn't say it was a great spend of my time. So that's all I'll say. But I do understand and I respect other people's opinions that they had fun with it. I'm sure they did. And I'm somewhat jealous that I can't be part of that club. But alas, that's my that's my truth. It's my life. And with that, Dark Souls, we hardly knew ye. Only because oh. Jack did not get good. <laughs> Colin is like beside himself right now. I I am just I I just kind of like sat there and tried to tune out that whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I still love you, bro. Wow. I still love you, Jack. But Thanks, right. okay. So <laughs> it's my turn now to cut one, and much like this is getting it's tough, really brutal. But and we're only at eighteen. <laughs> I've got one in mind though. All right, listen to me. Listen to me. If it's what I think it is. I'm I'm getting up out of this chair. <laughs> Please, who am I, Tom Nook? Um, you fucker. <laughs> nope, I'm cutting Persona Four. That's what, what I'm going to nominate. Ooh, what? And here's my argument. You're kidding me. I'm not. This ki- hurts. Are you? Who do you think it hurts the most? <laughs> why are you cutting it then? <laughs> here's what why. Here's why most? I'm cutting it. When I look at these other <sighs> games, I thought I, this was locked for top ten. Nope. When I look at these other games, I look at them and think like. 
there's there's the idea of you can go back to it every day and there's something different and there's something new to do and that's part of the reason why you're kind of like sucked into that time whereas with persona 4 the only reason you're sucked into it is because like you want to learn more about what happens with these high schoolers and like you know they've got the whole like detective story thing going on where you're like trying to figure out who killed what and whatever but once you get to the end of that, the only reason for it to continue to suck your time is just because you want to like play through the story again and be re-immersed into that world. Whereas these other games here, like Diablo 3, every day you play it is different. City Skylines, every day you play it is different. Even Animal Crossing, which I hate, every day you play it, it's different. There's something new to look forward to all the time. Whereas at some point in Persona 4, that road ends. But the trade-off, right, in not being like Animal Crossing or Diablo 3 uh, procedurally generated, the trade-off with Persona 4 is that you get a carefully crafted experience. I know like we say that term all the time now, but you get something unique that looks beautiful that is, you know, it, it happens once and then, you know, it, it doesn't happen a different way, but it's like, you know, it's a craft experience. So uh, I really thought this was locked in top 10. I was not expecting this cut. It, if this it early. were my list, I think I'd consider it more. But when I just think of the idea of like time suckers and the idea of like being able to play it practically eternally, as someone who has beaten Persona 4 three times, each playthrough taking more than 80 hours, Jeez. I like, I just, I don't see the average person like for one ever really beating persona 4 or two mm -hmm. being crazy enough to beat it twice <laughs> well they did make some improvements it we should note that um they did have persona 4 golden on uh ps vita and i think they made some improvements to the player experience so that you always can look and see what other people have done at that you know at any particular point in the game to determine what you want to do you right. know kind of lays out the options kind of lays out what where the forks are on the road that you can take uh, so you're not like flying blind, so to speak. So, and especially, man, it looks so good on the Vita. And I would say that if someone had a Vita, which who are you now? Like in 2017. <laughs> but if so, I, I have a Vita too, by the way. But I'm just saying if someone, you know, were to pick one up, which is not happening. Um, but it would absolutely be a game I recommend to someone. And it's a, a game I recommend to a lot of people. I would recommend Persona 4. So I'm saying you're worried you don't have support. You kind of got my support. I don't know how Colin feels about it, but. Hmm. I'm surprised. I mean, I'm shocked wait, by this. I'm taken aback. Wait, support to cut it or support to keep it? No, to keep it. Oh, to keep it. I'm just surprised that he nominated that game. I right mean, now. I mean, we had to cut something, and I I completely see where Robert's coming from on this. Like the the, the fact that you're probably not going to come back to it and keep on playing past those first 80 hours or so that takes that it takes you to beat it. Um, whereas several of these games you could easily come back to and pour another 100 hours mm -hmm. or so into. Mm -hmm. Like, no problem. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if, if you guys aren't against cutting it, I mean, I'm not against cutting oh. it uh, after hearing Robert's argument, so... The problem is here, okay, there are some games, I won't name them, but there's some games on this list that I have not played, but I recognize are great time suckers, right, and deserve a spot, but I have mm. maybe not played them as much as you guys have, but then there's also games that I play the crap out of that I absolutely love, there's probably more than 10 of them, which is the problem, you know, it's <laughs> just like every right. single cut is going to hurt here on some level, so, oh man, I sucks dude if you really want to cut persona for it just sucks but look i'm the oh. last person to ever want to cut persona out of any positive top 10 list of any kind top 10 and best I, shooters that, persona 4 for sure i mean if but. robert's okay <clears throat> excuse me if robert's okay out of anyone with cutting persona i mean i'm not gonna like this is your old you know. old yeller yeah we can call it that oh gosh all right so heartless all right <laughs> I can't ah, believe it. it's gone. It's, it's gone. happening. There it is. Mm. Chie, I tried. <sighs> I tried, Chie. Oh, she's not even best girl. They wouldn't listen. <sighs> All right, Colin. Teddy, I tried. <laughs> he is best girl, oh. yes. <laughs> Boys, let me tell you something. It's getting real real tough in here. It's getting... It's, it, walls are closing in. <laughs> Can we just do a top 17 and then just be done with it? <laughs> <sighs> 
Then we have to rank it. Walls are closing That's the whole point in. of getting yeah, to 10 yeah, to make I the know. ranking easier. So we, well, man, we need to go faster. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. We got to cut. Dude, we need okay, to get to at least so 15. Once we get to 15, we'll, we'll, we'll read them off real quick. But we okay, so to, to recap, so to recap real quick, we have Civ 5, Skyrim no, 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 Fall. No, no, we're no, going to no, wait till we, we get to 15. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I, I am having a really hard time. Deciding which one I want to cut right now. I know. I know my next cut. If you want me to should, go, should we skip you? Yeah, go to Jack. Who? For wait. the sake of time, uh, let's do. Uh, I'm thinking COD. Call of oh, Duty Modern Warfare Two. Dude. Ooh, that's a hard sell. I. I okay. No, I spent hundreds of hours. I loved that game. I picked up and unhooked and hooked up my PS3 wherever I went so I could play that game. Multiplayer, like I did, uh, you know, the last time I did that with a console was uh, Nintendo, like the original NES in the '90s. I would pick it up, unhook it, take it to the babysitters, hook it up, play <laughs> Mario. Um, I did the same thing with uh, <laughs> with Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2. I was there at midnight. Yeah, um, mm. I, I, there, I mm, mm. like. I don't think shooters would be as big as they are today without the release of Call of Duty: Modern Warfare 2. Okay, I'm not gonna. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Just because we 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 talk a lot about these games, but come on. I mean, okay, fair enough. Modern Warfare Two really brought multiplayer shooters into the mainstream. Like that was the first time I'd ever seen my dad go fucking hard oh. playing a game multiplayer. A absolutely, it was um, a pop culture phenomenon. I will agree. However, I personally never saw the appeal of even reaching like something like level 70 because beyond level 70 you'd prestige and you'd lose all of your shit and none of that sounds appealing to me so i agree and i just never prestige that was my Same. <laughs> that yeah, was just, my solution i just stayed at level 70 it was good yeah but I had so all after guns. that you just you just picked it up whenever you felt like it and just yeah i played, played it. it i still okay. yeah i played and i killed everybody because they didn't have all the guns and i did Right, and then the idea with that game, like, I think that game, the progression isn't necessarily just, like, getting all the guns, but then it's also, like, you getting better as a player, you getting better at shooting people and getting a better KD and all that. Right, it was about the KD for me, the kill-death ratio, and just trying to improve on that and just getting better every every game. And it absolutely is one of those games where you look up and you're like, oh, shit, it's four in the morning. How did I do this? I, I literally did that multiple times. Do we think it's top 10 material, though? That's the problem. Like, I don't I... know if I can mount an argument for that. Right. That's what I'm saying. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm, I can't. I honestly, I'm, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know if I can. I'm struggling to fucking mount an argument against cutting it right now. But I understand. Or, or it's not top 10. It. That's Excuse pretty much the only argument. It. Right. That's the only but, argument uh, yeah. you need to ask yourself now is, is it going to make that That's true. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I just don't think it's. I don't think it's top 10 material, however <laughs> good it may be. It's an honor to be nominated. <laughs> <laughs> Are we cutting it then? Is that what we're leaning well, toward? Well, do you think it's going to be in top 10? Do I? I think... God, it's hard to say because there's so many other games where I'm asking myself it, that question and I'm not sure. It's the Call of Duty um, that I spent the most time with. Same online. here. Second being like Black it was, Ops. It was Blops for me, but... Yeah, um, I think if we were doing franchises, Call of Duty would easily get a spot in the top ten time suckers oh, in like terms of franchises. Oh. But but I'm not sure if I can make an argument just from Modern Warfare Two. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know, dude. I could, I, but I couldn't eke it out over the other games that we have on dude, this list right now. I got peed on by a dog while I was playing Call of Duty. What the <laughs> and fuck? I fuck? And I couldn't even bother to. I couldn't even bother to drop the game. It's not <laughs> oh my like, hold God. on, I gotta get this AC one thirty. Like, I was just like, oh well, this dog's pee is already on my sock, so I'm just gonna <laughs> wait till the end of this match. Damn, you got me killed it. right before I got a fucking nuke. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm, I'm getting hey guys. I'm getting mixed messages here. Are we? How are we feeling? Cut it. Or cut it. Cut it. Cut it. <laughs> cut it. Take, I just had take to share. scissors. Okay. Take scissors to it. Perhaps that was yeah. an overshare, but <laughs> okay. I think we should cut it. Fine, fine, fine. Just get it off screen. Good. So I can forget about it. Jack, go. <sighs> All right, guys, you ready for this? No. League of Legends. Wow, we. League I, of Legends needs to go. I don't think so. It needs to go. Absolutely not. It, it I don't needs to go. Fuck, dude. Do you I understand how many people are addicted 
to that one video game by a small indie developer called Riot Games. League of Legends and the MOBA genre has saturated itself. And I don't know if you've noticed, we've already reached peak MOBA. And MOBA is on the decline now. It's it's I... happening. We've reached peak MOBA. It's happened. We've reached peak MOBA. I'm not sure if decline... Like, it's not a strong decline. It's a gradual decline, but it yeah, is it... happening. And people are hungry for the next thing. Now, I'm not even... These are not even great arguments that I'm saying for why it shouldn't be on this list. I'm saying this be, just because the bottom line i just don't i i recognize it's a great game it's the street fighter argument i understand but i don't know if it is in the top 10 it's easily 11 probably but i just don't know if it's the top 10 for me in my personal opinion see i'd argue it's in the top 10 before street fighter 2 is yeah i mean dude i'm not i'm not arguing that as much as maybe i should well here's the thing though like you sit down for a session of League of Legends with a couple friends or whatever. You're playing 5v5. Next thing you know, you've played four or five games, and it's been easy five hours. You yeah, know what when, I mean? I mean, it's you, like we're averaging averaging about 45 minutes to an hour a game. But that's because the games take forever. Well, they've shortened it now. It takes maybe 30 to 40 minutes for a game, which, which I but, know is still, but still like, long. Yeah, but, but like the banning process and stuff, it's not a great it, – it is a terrible – It's okay, it's the worst – uh, along with Dota 2, are the worst onboarding experiences in video games, period. Yeah, They're it's the it's, worst. It's hard to get into League without a friend showing it to you first and like kind of hand holding your hand through the way. That's how I got into it, and that's how I caught the League yeah. bug. I could never um, recommend same. this game to somebody. I could never do it to say, hey, you want to play a game? Play, pick up League of Legends. That's like, what are you doing to them? You know, you're like basically showing them the gates of hell. I don't know. I've I've seen plenty of people people who never played video games in their life or like don't play video games that often picking up League of Legends because they want to play it with their friends who do play it and they actually like enjoy spending that time with their friends. Hmm. With their friends. I'm just saying, yes. guys, you know, I have to pick one. There's sixteen here. That's the one I would like to see gone. That's that's how I feel. I don't I, for me, I'm looking at the list. It's starting to flesh itself out a little bit. I just don't I recognize everything it does for gaming, and I recognize how huge it is, but I would, I can see a world, okay, let me propose something. I can see a world where we cut League of Legends and Street Fighter 2 at the same time. And totally ignore the, like, esports-ness about both. I'm not ignoring them. I'm, I'm, I'm recognizing them respectfully, but... I'm just looking again at the other games on this list. So many have not even come up yet, but because they're yeah. such heavy hitters. Yeah, I think for the they're sake heavy of heavy hitters, dude. For the sake of brevity, I guess I'm okay with taking it off cuz this is a collaborative list among the three of us. Colin. Mm. Yeah, take it off. Wow, I won. Okay. Well, Thanks, you're also sacrificing your Street Fighter 2 pawn. Well, it it you know, it. I, I talked about Street Fighter enough on this podcast, and I will. I would always recommend playing that game. It, it's the best fighting game of all time, okay. in my opinion. So now, okay. Well, now we're real at fourteen. Quick question. Quick yeah. question. Yes. Yeah. When we get this list down to ten, are we ordering them? Or are we leaving as is? No, no, no. We are ordering them. They're just numbered now, yeah. f- just so, so we know how many we have. Yeah. But so so we are going to order them. Yeah. When we get down we to are, ten. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's why we're trying to. <laughs> Quote yeah, unquote, we're trying rush to, to get, get up to in 10. here. So, right, so, so here are the 14 games that we have now. Civilization 5, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Fallout 3, Diablo 3, Cities Skylines, Animal Crossing New Leaf, Stardew Valley, Overwatch, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Grand Theft Auto 5, World of Warcraft, Mayancraft, and The Witcher 3. <laughs> Mayancraft. <laughs> Mayancraft. Like I said, heavy, heavy hitters here. Yeah, this is tough. Now I'm going to... So, oh, man. No, this, okay. is, this is the nitty fucking gritty right it's here. Getting, it's going to get real okay. bloody here because we're picking four that are not making the list. Okay, here's, here's my question I want to post to the group. Is there a top ten time suckers list that exists that has both Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley on it. Oh fuck! Because I think they're I, both. I have no bre- I have no brevity in either of these arguments. They're both similar enough <sighs> games, I think, that oh, I don't hey, know. Hey, hey, hey! Skyrim well, and Fallout Three are too. That's true, and I, and I was going to actually bring the conversation to that next. 
I don't know is the question. I think what we should do is now is the time where we flip the script. We're flipping the script, and now we are going to name games that make the top ten. Okay. For sure. So that's right. Yep. Okay. So that puts it back on me then, right? Sure. Or I could go first since I went last. The first sure. Time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So to lock in the top ten, I am nominating. Overwatch. I will not argue that or against it. I mean, as then I'm for that game. Yes, Colin. Um, don't have much experience with it, but I I'm for it just because it's such a phenomenon. All right, Overwatch I mean, is in the top ten. Yeah, it it unseated League of Legends, um, in like PC, in PC yeah. cafes played in like in South Korea for a while. Like people Accurate, were playing yeah. that game more, you know. Right. So yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel good it, about that. Puts it now at Colin. What are you locking um, in there? For the top ten list, I would nominate GTA Five. I think that's another easy one. I recognize yeah. that. Yeah, and man, you just, you just stole mine. <laughs> now I've got to think more. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Man, just put Zelda up there already. All right. I, don't, I was thinking it wouldn't make it, actually. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. That's crazy talk <laughs> I'm I'm from kidding. a crazy man. <laughs> I mean, Take I am po- crazy. Take the podcast Treason. away from Robert. <laughs> but I'm going to nominate Civ Five, Civilization Five. I think that's in the top ten, safe to say. That is one of those games that I mentioned earlier that I don't have enough time in to really have a thorough conversation on, but it is one of those games that I absolutely recognize Colin. as one of the great time suckers in video games. Yep. Yes. Give it to it. Cool. All that right, puts it, it now at Jack. All right. I am going to nominate Animal Crossing New Leaf, baby. Let's do it. It is a game designed all around your infinite time. In perpetuity, there is no true ending to this game, and it depends on you playing during the different seasons of the year, like actual seasons of the year and times of the day. You can go into the game whenever you want, different times of the day. There are different things to do. Yeah, there's never a dull moment. There's only relaxation and fun and friendship and a town. See, I'm going to I'm going to throw some words you threw at us earlier about Dark Souls <laughs> right back at you. It's a time sucker in the worst way. <laughs> no way, in the most relaxing way. I don't know cuz here's Dude, the thing. I've heard Dark stories Souls is so stressful. Okay, but I've they're heard the, stories they're the antithesis of each other. I've heard stories of Animal Crossing where it's like if you don't play it for a while, you're just like, "Oh, looks like you uh haven't booted up the game in a while." What's up with that? And they like kind of like shame you. It's like, oh, you haven't been with us. You, are you really our friend? Are you really our neighbor? They 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 do uh, kind of. If it's been you know weeks or so, they're like, oh wow, there you yeah, are. We were wondering like, about you. They make you feel like a piece of shit for thinking I want to play another video game. I don't think it's. I would go as far How as how dare a piece you of cheat shit. on fucking Animal Crossing? It guys, <laughs> it's it just makes the town feel more alive. It makes you feel missed. Not a piece of shit. They make you feel know. like, hey, we were wondering about you, buddy. Where you at? Can you come back to Animal Animal Town, Animal Crossing. Like, I'm willing to concede only because for some unfortunate reason, a majority of the planet finds this game interesting. It's a fantastic game. It's a masterpiece. So, so I'm conceding, Colin. Uh, so you're saying give it to him. Yeah. Robert's got his eye on the clock, I think, to my advantage. <laughs> All right, yeah, just give it to him because I, I I've never played the damn game. I'm so. fine with it being in the top. I'm fine with it being number ten, by the way. Good. I'm not gonna fight that's, that. That's the only thing I'd give it. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Compromise is good. Right. Colin. Uh, Zelda. Easy. Yep. And easy peasy lemon squeezy. I think I'll throw in another easy one: World of Warcraft. Yep. Yeah, oh, but we're losing spots real fast. So okay. not World of Warcraft? No, it has to. It has to. It has to by principle, yeah. But, dude, then doesn't... Yeah, doesn't this make this a little harder? <laughs> doesn't Minecraft have to be in this? Unfortunately, it yes. It has to be in this. There's no... That, I, that's mine. I'm throwing Minecraft in there. It, it, there's no way this doesn't make the list. Minecraft is on the list. Mo Yang, 2009... Minecraft. Fuck, we only have two spots left. Oh my three god. No, we have spots three spots. Or three spots. 
So here's what we're debating on now. We have three spots. Oh, okay, do we all agree that the top, or not top, but those seven up there are locked? I think so. Now we look at them. Okay. So yeah. right now we have three spots left, and the we have seven games to choose from. Those are Skyrim, Fallout 3, Diablo 3, City Skylines, Stardew Valley, Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, and The Witcher 3. Yikes. Mm, okay, so four so of these games are not going to make it. Heavy so, hitters. Real quick. I say... I say we choose between Skyrim or Fallout 3 because not saying they're quite interchangeable, but they are both by the same developer and they're the, both the same concept. Or, Colin, we don't pick either of them. Um, or we don't pick either of them. How about that, gents? I'll, um, I've, I've already got my, my three that are left that I'd like to nominate into the 10. That's not how we're playing the game. I know that's not how we're playing it. But I think that there are only three that deserve to move on. I don't know. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Well, okay. So whose turn are we at then? We're at Yours. Collins. I we're thought. At, it was, oh no. Okay. It's on my no, turn. Said, we're not. No, we're no, not wait, doing wait, turns. Wait, 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 we're not, we're trying to eliminate some from the bottom. We're not moving anything okay. up to the top three yet. Okay. We're um, eliminating from the bottom seven. So then, is it my turn to nominate an elimination? <sighs> right. Yes. Okay. Then I yeah, nominate yeah, to I eliminate Fallout 3. I, I'm, that's correct. <laughs> Even though I, I mean, I'm not going to, if. Dude, I played every DLC of that game. I played the yeah, whole I, I love that game. I, that was the first time I'd ever put hundreds of fucking hours into a game. Like, I have three, four hundred hours in that fucking game. Do you want it in the top ten? Because that, that sounds Honestly, a lot to it, me. If, if Skyrim makes it and Fallout 3 doesn't, or vice versa, I'm not going to be mad. I spent more time in Fallout 3 than Skyrim, personally. Now I'm not saying... So did I, so did I, but, I mean, Skyrim, I loved almost just as much. Now, what that has to do I, with is, like, what I was doing at that point in time in my life. I just had more time to play Fallout 3 than I did Skyrim when it came out. Well, yeah, same here. So that's same. why. I'm not saying it's better that, or not. See, just, I have a stronger argument for Skyrim in that the mod scene for Skyrim is redonkulous compared to Fallout 3's mod scene. It's one of the best mod scenes in games, if not yeah. the best. So, uh, I mean, like, shit, people were making their own standalone expansions for Skyrim. Yeah, so yeah. even after you, you know, Dragonborn the shit up and you're done with the story, doesn't matter because you have all these other quests you could do that are made by modders. You could, like, dick around and see what it's like if, like, Thomas the Tank Engine was a dragon. You know what I mean? Like, the the Skyrim has a very, very, very long tail. And I think it has a stronger argument than Fallout 3. I'm just saying, was, personally, myself, I spent a lot more time, though, in Fallout 3 than Skyrim. Right. Was that was that a fucking dragon joke, Robert? No. I know. He always a longer does that. tail? He always I mean, does that. You know. <laughs> We're going to start a pun jar on the show, guys. Because <laughs> we pun it up a lot. We're like, we're like, when we start, sh when we start Twitch streaming, guys, instead of a tip jar, we're gonna have a pun jar. Uh, all right, guys, put a lid on it. So, we got, oh, we got, oh, <laughs> he's got dad we, jokes, guys. He's got dad jokes. We like, how do you guys feel? Fallout 3 off the list. I don't like uh, it, but I'm not gonna like anything. Yeah, at this point, I would yeah. put Fallout 3, I would be prepared to do the uncommon and put Fallout 3 over Skyrim. I would be prepared for that. Yeah. I mean, I could, but for the sake of, for the sake of time in this, I mean, I think cause the thing is, though, isn't Skyrim just Fallout 3 with swords for the most part? Oh. I mean, isn't Fallout just Skyrim with guns? And radiation? I mean, you, mean, you mean Oblivion with guns? Yeah. Nuka-Cola, guys, um, come on. <laughs> you're, try, you're trying to pull up my heartstrings. <laughs> I don't know. I think Skyrim has way more to do in it now than Fallout 3, and I mean that in the most literal sense. Like, it has no man, we're, It has no 3 dog. Man, we're just trying to set the world on fire I, right now. I bet <laughs> there is a mod out there that puts some kind of 3 dog type thing in Skyrim. I'm sure. I'm sure. But we it, listen, we should not qualify a game based on what mods can be added to it. That's not that's not a cool thing to do. I don't know. For I this, think that's kind of list. I think that's an integral part now of what Skyrim is, though. Like, think about it. The only reason that Skyrim is still around and is being made still 
is probably because of what mods <clears throat> have done to it. Questionable tactics, Robert Scarp. Uh, Scarp. Scarp. <laughs> let me let me let me cut one. Let me cut one. Can I cut one? Sure. Before we before we cross the Rubicon with with the Bethesda games. The Bethesda con, yeah. I am going to eliminate Player Nuns Battlegrounds. That's a surprising hit. I'm going to do it because my argument is that my heart and my body and my soul and my mind can only take like four games at a time. I can't play more than four games. It's too stressful. Yeah. I love playing that game and I, it's a, I love picking it up. And if I just die within five, ten minutes, like, hey, I had fun still, you know, and, and, I, and I feel like I'm getting better every time I play that game. But it's, it's the kind of game that I also need to drop oftentimes. I'm like, all right, that's enough. Let's you know step away from this game. We'll come back tomorrow. Let's fresh. play Animal Crossing now and relax and chill. Yeah, and bring your blood pressure down. Exactly. Yeah. No. So I, I can agree with that. Just because it it's a great game. I mean, it's it speaks for itself, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think it's hard to like sit there and play it like all day. No, you can't. That's not a game you can marathon. At least I can't. I mean, it, so for that reason, I'm not saying it's a bad game. I'm just saying it's maybe not. You know, it's in the top uh, fifteen time suckers in video games but not the top 10 is what i'm saying okay Colin. fair enough yep all right let's take it cut, off let's cut that up all right sorry blue hole Whew. okay that puts it now at colin for a cut a nominee sure um stardew valley i can live with that because we already have Animal Crossing on there, and All the right. games are really similar. It's in the top ten, or it's in I the mean, top fourteen. They're, they're not similar because Stardew Valley is an infinitely better game. But I can concede <laughs> to your argument. I mean, I'm not gonna. You don't have to choose. They can both be great games. <laughs> don't know if you're aware, but I mean, right, I'm I'm aware, but <laughs> it's, it's still better than Animal Crossing in every way, shape, and form. I, I think you would find. I mean, hey, Stardew Valley. I would never have a bad word to say about it. It's coming to Switch. It is. With that's multiplayer. a good. That's a good move. But you know what else is coming to Switch? Animal Crossing. I'm not sure about that one yet. I don't think Nintendo should it's, either. It's gonna come. <laughs> it's gonna be Animal Crossing on Switch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. So what's For next? A cut. You're now an ASMR podcast. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. We need wait. We we need to cut two more, and we have our top ten. We need to cut two more. Okay, um, I think I think we should just go around and say the two. The two that we think should be cut? Yeah, we should both, we should all three of us do that, okay? Okay. So we have three mm. spots left. We have three spots left. We're deciding between Skyrim, Fallout 3, Diablo 3, City Skylines, and The Witcher 3. So my three, in no particular order, are going to be Diablo 3, The Witcher 3, and... Skyrim because I think that's the one that you guys will agree to but I would my heart says Fallout 3 but I would say Skyrim so I would say Skyrim Diablo 3 Witcher 3 easy Colin I'm going to agree I'm going with Jack actually yay see I'd prefer City Skylines instead of The Witcher but if we got Civ already up there I'm more than happy with that City Skylines is a fantastic game it is absolutely the probably the best game along with um Roller Coaster Tycoon? No, what's it called? Uh, Planet Coaster. Yeah, Planet Coaster. Those are like the two best games, in my opinion, to brew a fresh cup of coffee on an early Sunday morning and just play. Like, those are the two go-to games for that purpose. A relaxing uh, weekend morning with your coffee. Easy like Sunday morning. Exactly. They're such feel-good games. They They just feel so right and so just... A great experience overall. So, City Skylines came out uh, 2015 by Colossal Order. Uh, one of the best games on PC, period. And, and uh, it came out at such a great time, too, because that's when <laughs> EA was like, let's make a brand new, revamped, rebooted SimCity mm-hmm. that no one liked. It was yeah, every, so yeah. terrible. Everyone hated SimCity, and City Skylines really kind of took the torch and yeah. ran with it. And I can't, I, I will recommend that game to anyone that will listen to me. Um, it does make the top 10, but it is a great game, and it's got this far, so, so kudos. Yep. Mm. So... We're also dropping Fallout 3. Oh, correct? it hurts. It hurts. Yeah. It but I just hurts. feel like Skyrim's getting more support on this show, so I'm I willing mean, to go there. I think it just makes more sense than Fallout. Okay. So should we do... All right. So let's read the list now. We are at our, at our 10. Not the top 10, but these are 
in no particular order, uh, going to be uh, some of the 10 best time suckers of video games. So Overwatch, Grand Theft Auto V, Civilization V, Animal Crossing New Leaf, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, World of Warcraft, Minecraft, Skyrim, Diablo 3, and The Witcher 3. So do you guys want to do like a top five, bottom five, and then scramble around? How do you guys feel? Yikes. That Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> or do you want to just do a top 10 straight away? Honestly, I feel like this is good. Can we just stop here? <laughs> <laughs> you always yeah. say that. What's the rush? Uh -huh. you, you always want to get off the show, Robert. I'm it's like, not no, even let's off do the this. It's, it's like this is so hard to decide. That's <laughs> what makes it fun. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Uh, uh, okay, so okay. how should we go about this? Should we just like... Good question. That's what I'm trying to find out. Do we, should we just go down the list and go pl like place by place? Or go from number to, like what should be number ten to number nine to number eight. I just think I just think that a top five, bottom five would be a good start. Okay. So I listen. I just think Minecraft should be in the top five. Minecraft. I mean. I just think it deserves a spot in the top five. Is this the tiny disc top ten time suckers, or just every gamer on the planet a top ten time suckers? Well, for both reasons and for both answers, I would say Minecraft. I mean, I, I, do you guys want me to go into my stories about Minecraft? Because I can. I can tell a story if you want to hear one. A story. How much of it so, did you actually play? Okay. Holy shit. Okay. So me and my, uh, my, my wife. I guess she wasn't my wife at the time. She was just my girlfriend. But we would take an entire day and order in Jets pizza, which I miss. We don't have Jets pizza here in uh, Austin. But uh, we would order pizza and pop and just junk food. And we would sit there and play Minecraft literally like 16 hours straight. Yikes. And we built a world like in Inception. We built our own world. <laughs> Perfect world. We, we crafted boats. Okay. And we just shot for the horizon okay we took the we took the ocean and we took multiple boats because if you hit anything they break i don't know how familiar you are with this game but yeah, yeah anyways we literally picked a coordinate and we aimed towards it for a half an hour and then we were sailing for a, like real world like half an hour on the open seas like avoiding like octopus and rocks and whatever else other hazards there we finally hit land after 30 minutes of pushing w Right, like like the whole time. And we found an island there and we created a sky dome like on the island. And it was like glass encased and we just created an entire kingdom there. Like again, this is over the course of like one or two like a whole weekend we took. And it's still one of the things we talk about. We we wrote down the coordinates so that we could get back there because it literally took us half an hour to get back to where our home quote unquote home base was and then half an hour back. So we have like a post it note or something around here with like our coordinates of how to get back to our sky dome when it, when and if we ever do go back but just awesome memories like that man i i oh i just spent so much time in it. i love the game i think it i think it, it should be in the top five i would put oh, it what I would, a cute story bottom I, five <laughs> <laughs> see i think part of it like my bias is i feel I've always felt that Terraria was a much better Minecraft than Minecraft. That's I, like a personal yeah. thing. Sure. I, um, I couldn't comment on that. I've never played the game. Right. And I still understand that Minecraft in and of itself is like a phenomenon. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's huge. Okay. It's, it's like, so one I'm, of just, those... I'm just going to go in and replace this with Dragon Quest Builders while you guys aren't paying no, attention. Right. No. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that game. Isn't that game like the better Minecraft that everyone loves? Also, yes. this is not yes, most. Is. Yeah, I mean, that's again speaks to how influential Minecraft is. It has its whole offshoot, you know, genres that are successful in their own right, but they wouldn't right. be there if it weren't for Minecraft. So, also just to save time as well, I'm fine putting Animal Crossing. It's currently number four. I'm fine putting that right at number ten. Yeah, so we can do that, I, and I guess Minecraft yep. goes to four for now. So that's my thought. Go ahead, guys. Expunge on your own thoughts here. Um, I would think Civ Five is in the top five. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, really? No. No backlash. No. No arguments backlash. against that. I have a lot of respect for that series, for that game, for that song. By I respect Yetu. it. I don't know. I respect it. I don't know shit about it, but I respect it. What? <laughs> Wait. So neither of you played Civilization. Ever. Not like enough. Any. Not enough. I haven't played a damn second of Civilization. But the one wow. thing I know 
is that people spend a lot of time in it. <laughs> yeah. Civilization's one of those games where like it ends after 300 turns if like you play the normal speed and people still like just think I could play one more turn. I could wow. do one more turn. Literally the UI says Dang. just one more turn dot 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 like <sighs> Wait a second. The, a whole, the whole game ends after 300 turns? If you're playing like the standard speed um okay. but like if you put it on marathon, I think it goes up to 800 turns. So like, like, 300, how long does that take in, in playtime? In real life? Uh, probably anywhere from like five to eight hours. Okay, so one game's about five to eight hours, and then you just start again. Yeah. Okay. So it, man, Civilization Five is just such a great time sucker. It's it's so peaceful, except for when you go to war, because Gandhi's an asshole. Um <laughs> But <laughs> quote unquote, Robert Gandhi. Gandhi. Gandhi Gandhi's an asshole. Is an a hole. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yep. actually, you know, it's funny that you sit, you you talk about Gandhi because my roommate the other day just explained to me that whole thing with Gandhi being an asshole in Civilization. He went into <laughs> yeah, the whole so this story is a about thing. how it was actually an accident. Yeah, it was an no, accident. It yeah, it's like they they tried to program his parameters and they they had like a bug in like the programming. So instead of it was like, like what a Civ two wasn't it? I think it was Civ two where like they like there was supposed to be a cap on how. A aggressive he could be but they like fucked it up like they added an extra zero or something so he kept oh. getting more and more and more aggressive as the game went on so by the time it was like end game and he had nukes he was like i'm gonna nuke your city wow so it's gandhi <laughs> the fewer yeah, yeah he's like i'm gonna force your city to have a hunger strike now oh like, wow <laughs> That's hilarious. And, yeah, and instead of like patching that out or like not doing it again in future games, Fire Access was just like we're going to keep it cuz it's fun. He actually is an asshole then. Yeah. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I think Civ 5 okay. definitely deserves top 5. Okay. All right. Uh whose turn is it to uh Colin you? I think so. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild top 5. Oh, I'm sorry. Could you, could you say it again? I think yeah, I was a little. I was a little uh, too fast of there. Breath the Wild uh, top five. Uh, please. I think it's. Only right. guy I, think it's I, I think it's in a good spot right now. It's number five. Yeah, uh, it's definitely not top of the top five. It's five. I think it's in a good spot right where it is right now. Yeah, right now we have. Are you it cool with five. that, Colin? Are you gonna fight? I want it in the top five. It's in the top mm-hmm. five. Okay, it's there. It was in my number one spot, but oh, I'm not sure about number one compared to some of these other games here. No, no, not yet. Okay, uh, Jack, do you want to sling something? I think that GTA Five should not be in the top five, and I think Diablo Three should be. A uh, man after my mm. own heart. I, I was going those. to. I was going to make that exact same argument. Nice, personally. Colin, oh, so you sound Colin. You sound a little indignant. Mm. I, I I've spent more time in GTA Five than I have Diablo Three, and I mm. definitely think that GTA Five is more of a game that you can just pick up whenever the hell you want and just put oh, hours in it, just fucking you around. Must not have played yet. Oh. See, here's what I think. When I when I play Diablo, th- well, okay, when I play Grand Theft Auto Five. Sure, I could spend hours in it in, like, one play session. Time gets away from me because I'm too busy, like, actually playing the story or, like, you know, fucking around killing people or whatever. But I don't think about it much when I put it down. You know, when I'm done playing GTA 5, I'm like, okay, I'm done playing GTA 5 for now. With Diablo 3, not only am I wholly engrossed in clicking a lot and then occasionally pressing, like, a button... um, but when I'm when I put it down after the like five hours or whatever I spend in it, I'm still occasionally thinking like, okay, but what do I want from my build or like what's my build eventually going for? What kind of skills do I want? What runes do I put on those skills? What are the items I need? You know, like I'm still it's still on the brain when it's not in my face. Mm. Fair enough. Oh, okay, we can switch. Okay. All right, it's starting to shape into a actual list here. All right, whose turn is it now to nominate? I think it's yours. Is it? That was what. That was my. I mean, I took yours basically. Nah, that's true. Okay. Um. Hmm. Part of me wants to say Overwatch, but I know that's like recency bias. That might have me saying Overwatch should be in the top five. 
I a million percent agree with that. Do you? I a million percent agree. Yes, that is. I for some reason, like I said, I got obsessed with that game. I still am not up to your level yet, but I I love that game so much. It got me to watch professional Overwatch, and I'm looking forward to watching more in November. I am looking at the list and. I'm I'm pretty good with where it is right now. I so this is uh, the thing the thing that's mm. iffy for me is two Blizzard games like back to back. That's one thing that's a little iffy for me. But I mean, then again, <laughs> their entire <laughs> game design is. <laughs> you what? know what just hit me? What? We have three fucking Blizzard games in this top. There are three. Ten. Oh <laughs> shit! Wow. Well. Oh, I, that's off I, to you, Blizzard. I can well, see why they shit. they spend a lot of money and invest a lot of time and resources into creating addictive games, games that have you coming back forever. I mean, how many times have we said on this very podcast that wow, we have more Blizzard news around Overwatch because they keep updating it, they keep it fresh, it never gets dull. They're yeah. the best in the industry at keeping their games alive. People are still playing uh, Path of Destruction, Diablo Two. Like still, you know, 2017. Like it's crazy. Uh, right. So I can see, you know, this is their list, right? This category is theirs. <laughs> yeah, kind I mean, of. I mean, I mean, think about it. The the BattleNet Blizzard launcher, whatever you, whatever they're calling it at this point, because they change their name all the time. They only have what five core games on there plus Destiny or mm-hmm. six, because they added mm-hmm. like the the original StarCraft remastered. Um, mm-hmm. but th- like. Compare that launcher to Steam, which you could access literally thousands of games on Steam, right. compared to Blizzard, uh, the Battle Nets only six, and yeah. yet to me they both hold equal parts in my heart of like, you know, it's not like I'm gonna uninstall Blizzard just because there are less games on there because I know right. those games are well polished and I will come back to them so often. No, I agree with that certainly. Like, like we haven't even talked about Hearthstone, which I, I think is more of a factor that I don't play much Hearthstone. I don't know if you guys do, but. I, nope. under, I recognize, understand again, it is a time sink. Um, also, I want to just real quick mention as well that CSGO has never really factored into our nominees, but it was brought up. And I, there's probably people screaming at their, you know, uh, iPhones right now or, or <laughs> cell phones like, what CSGO? But we talked about it, but it's just it doesn't have enough traction between the three of us um, to right. make the list. But I am, so glad that, to that see, I am glad to see a first person shooter on here. Now, yeah. what were you going to say? Oh, I was gonna say. So, is this the top ten sucker, time suckers like for everyone, or is this just for us? It's a little bit of both, I guess. It straddles the line. Because I would argue that World of Warcraft should be number one for everyone. What? Yeah, for yeah. everyone. Yeah, and I I was kind of thinking about whether WoW should be in the top five, honestly. So we're gonna have because I, I mean, because, so we're okay, gonna have three Blizzard games. One, two, three. That's crazy. But here's the <laughs> thing, though. Like, dude, you cannot. I think World of Warcraft may be the biggest time sucker of all fucking time in gaming history uh, ever. Period. At end of story. Minecraft might have something to say about because. That. But here's the thing, though. World of Warcraft came out in two thousand fucking four, guys. Mm-hmm. It's a thirteen, it's 13 year old years, game. It's a thirteen year old game, and okay, it, it's it's player base may have plateaued or a, even maybe on a, a a slight decline. I think it's a slight decline now. Final um, Fantasy, yeah, XIV pretty big decline. But, yeah. yeah. Okay, but still, like people are that still game, paying for that game. They're still paying. People are still play, Yeah, they're still paying for the damn game. They're coming out with. They're still supporting it like crazy. Coming out with new expansions all the time. They're up to like what? Uh, like what? So there was Burning Crusade. Uh, but Rich, Lich King. I'm, I'm uh, gonna tell you right Cataclysm. now. I cannot confirm nor deny any of these because I do not follow WoW. Cataclysm, Pandaria, yeah, these are, these are Warlords. Years ago, though, do they have and things then recently? There's, a, there's another new one. There's another new one. So there's what six expansions? At okay. least six expansions. So, I mean, I don't think any other game that I know of has had six full-on expansions. When I was neck deep. In this game, and uh, trust me, I was. It was around 2008. I played it so much it, because I was playing with one of my best friends, uh, and he lived in South Korea. And he still lives in South Korea. He's married, and he has a kid now. So, what's up, man? But uh, <laughs> we uh, 
we you know we played world of warcraft that was how we hung out you know it was uh three in the morning for him or whatever it's 10 i don't remember exactly what time how the time difference is but we we made time to play world of warcraft and we spent you know some of our i know it sounds corny but some of our best times as friends happened in world of warcraft you know we had great I mean, conversations we had we hung out i mean we'd rather do that i'll tell you right now the personalities between him and i we would much rather do that than go to a bar and drink seriously right. that was what we would prefer yeah, to and, do and that's the thing like all, all three of us right we're all like we all went to school all of our majors involve social science like we're all we were all we're all con majors you know and it's hard to get through any single class any semester being in this major and not talking about world of warcraft and how much of a phenomenon it was and how many experiments were done with this game and how much how many studies and how much research was done just because of this game it caused such uh, such a flux that this game was in the news telling basically telling parents like don't let your kids play this game or you're never they're never going to see the light of day again i remember specifically my mom telling me that you i'm not allowed to play this game because <laughs> i will i will get addicted to it and i will never ever want to stop playing i mean there was even what it wasn't wasn't there a kid that even died because you just refused to stop playing i feel like that was starcraft i, I know that was starcraft yeah, yeah. oh okay fi- fair enough fair enough but, but i'm no, sure you there's a like you have a point yeah there like, were that's people, what I'm there saying. Were, like, there were parents that got uh arrest, arrested i remember this because they were ignoring their children playing world of warcraft the parents were playing yeah. And they were ignoring their kids. I remember that. Now, also, if you go back in your time machine to 2008, I was so into World of Warcraft that I, I owned an Xbox 360, um, and that was when Fallout 3 came out, and I wanted to play that game. And I spent 80 bucks on like the collector's edition or whatever for that game. But I was so invested in World of Warcraft that I looked at every other video game in the entire world as a waste of time because it's time that I could be in World of Warcraft grinding. And so I can I'm 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 pretty much firmly on this train with you, Colin. Like I think it probably should be number one. Uh yeah. and yeah. yeah, and Robert agrees. And so let's move it, but that now it creates a dilemma here. Are we l- literally gonna have three Blizzard games, one, two, three, in World of Warcraft Overwatch and Diablo Three? I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, you said yourself, this is Blizzard. Li- this is Blizzard's list almost. This is their, yeah. like, like if Blizzard didn't dominate this list, who would? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of Blizzard's thing, man. They don't make a whole lot of new things, like a whole lot of new IPs. Wow. You know, I mean, Overwatch was their first new IP in what? What was it? Since World of years. Warcraft. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, think about it. They don't really give a shit so much about creating new crazy experiences they just think about how can we make the most you know addictive and most innovative thing within a certain genre or whatever the hell they're thinking about doing you guys and seem people okay. hooked on it and make them spend money on it you two you know? seem pretty kind of okay with this i mean it's hard to it's just hard to deny it's not that you know can you see it's not okay. that i can, can you see maybe Minecraft and Diablo 3 switching. I can see that. Can you guys yeah. see that at all? Here, here's another argument I was going to make. If we're going to put World of Warcraft at the top because of its impact on the gaming world, I'd argue Minecraft either is vying for that number one spot as well or is number two. If we're if we're going to run by the argument of, world of, of like the game's impact on the gaming culture at the time and how much collective time it has sucked up but then also i would say that if you just go by hours spent in the game that's the ranking of my experience personally I've, of all the games on this list i've spent the most time in world of warcraft delightfully and then second only to minecraft so that's like a- an accurate assessment for me so i could definitely see that where Minecraft right, I mean- is number two yeah, like that's that's what I'm saying. If if our argument for World of Warcraft is that, I think by following that logic, Minecraft is easily number two, possibly number one. Let's put it there and see what it looks like at number two. Colin, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I think Minecraft at number two is a fair assessment. Are we okay with this list, how this looks now? Hmm. Fuck, that's a, I think that's so. 
That's a rock solid list. Or something um, that hurts my heart a lot to say. I mm-hmm. I don't even want to say this. I believe I, in you. I don't want to say this. But Do I'm you want to write it I'm, down I'm, and I'm, show I'm it, it down and, and show you. Read it. Yeah. No, no, no. <clears throat> I don't even want to say this, but is Overwatch too high? I think it might be. It might be recency <sighs> bias. No. Yeah, I, I, no. yeah. That's. I, I was gonna say that earlier, but I kind of forgot recency about it. Is, bias. Is there, I mean, Legend of Zelda. Is there a? Is way more recent. I mean, Overwatch yeah, is I, two I, years. Is a year old. Over a year old. Like I personally think Zelda is too high too. Like I, I'd, I'd easily put Skyrim, maybe even GTA over Zelda. Oh man, I kind of feel that too. Uh, I kind of feel like, that too. Like here's the thing, Colin. I know how much you love Zelda, and let's, like I loved Zelda. I Zelda loved is it number one. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. After, after, kind of like you know making my argument I did for World of Warcraft, and it kind of reverberating now a little bit. I think, I think that would make a lot more sense for this list to put Skyrim and GTA Five over Zelda. Yeah, because the way I see it, like Zelda isn't in the news as much anymore. Right now, it's kind of whenever people like replace Link with like Waluigi, or like um, <laughs> yeah, yeah that like, should have people, been news for today. <laughs> yeah, people have been replacing Link with like other character models, which is cool enough, I guess. But like, it doesn't beat like how in Skyrim, three years after release, like some dude released Falskar that got him a job in the gaming industry because he just right. single-handedly created an entire expansion, you know, like in creating that, this top 10 list. I mean, we do, we can't ignore like the impact it's, that these games have had on the industry. It has to factor in. Uh, yeah. But that being said, I think it's entirely possible that we're downplaying the impact of Zelda breath of the wild. But the fact is that it's too soon to know yet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. I think it's too soon to know exactly how much of an impact breath of the wild is going to make i mean we've kind of seen it a little bit already i guess with offshoots like rhyme uh well i i can't imagine rhyme was started development after zelda well like i don't i, I mean, don't think we could say rhyme was inspired directly by breath of the wild no I, w- I wouldn't say that but it's like i don't know i, gu- I guess it's a wait and see kind of deal but i see your yeah i, see I love i love zelda and I played more Zelda than I did Skyrim personally, you know. So I, I want Overwatch to be as high as possible, but I almost feel guilty how high it is. But if you guys like it at three, then I'll stick with you. I I don't. I think Diablo three maybe is higher than Overwatch. Mm. Yeah. Mm. What? Yeah. What? Mm. Well, ah, man, this is why I said we should just cut it. After, I would like, much, we just came up with ten and we're done. I, I would much <laughs> rather. I would much rather play. I would much rather play uh, Overwatch than Diablo Three. I'm sick. Yeah. Of, I've, I've I've reached saturation with Diablo Three. I like know, that, late, that latest update that they brought out. The was it the Necromancer fifteen dollar yeah. pack? I didn't even bother. I didn't even buy it. Same. I don't care anymore. I mean, we come back to this list in like five years when Blizzard releases something else. Where, <laughs> where, where, that thing. Whereas yeah. I know, I know for a fact that I'll be playing Overwatch a year from now. I know I will. Yeah. In five years. In one year from now, at least. Oh. Yeah. So I'm just saying, uh, maybe, maybe Breath of the Wild comes down below, comes down to number eight. I could see that. Put it yeah. below Skyrim. I don't want to like you know eat your Wheaties, man. I mean, I love that game. Okay, can I ask why is eat your Wheaties like? Why is that is a bad thing? <laughs> well, they're his Wheaties. I want to eat my own Wheaties. Oh, okay. You're just a, you're just a dick if you eat somebody else's Wheaties, and it's kind of gross. I, I guess. I mean, Wheaties are kind of gross anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> no, Wheaties are not good. It's not a good cereal. No, dude, they're they're inferior to frosted mini wheats. <laughs> Clearly. Yes. Fair. Okay, back to the list. <laughs> yes. So, uh, what list was again? Top ten cereals. We, we can do uh, breakfast. Yeah, we should next. do top ten cereals next. We, we can do. We can talk about breakfast next week. So, dude, fuck, I could go for some top ten cereal list. <laughs> dude, right I now. could go for some Waffle House right now. Oh Bro, okay, let's okay, go. Well, da, 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 back, back, okay. back to this. <laughs> okay, okay. So <laughs> I, I think make one joke. <laughs> Colin, if you're okay with it, I, I'm okay with Zelda staying where it is, but I think I could imagine a world where it's number eight. But Here's I am thing, not though, going to rip like, it. For, I'm not going to rip it 
out of your hands. Fuck, dude. Like, but here's the thing, though. Here, here's the thing that we're forgetting. I think another variable that we got to take into account is Twitch. Because not only do these, but here's the thing. Not only do people spend a lot of time playing these games, they spend a lot of time watching other people play these games. I mean, yes. Yeah, but these aren't most but... watched games. Yeah, no, oh, no, 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 that's not what I'm getting at. That's not what I'm getting at. I'm saying that I think so. Like, I see more people watching DCA 5 or Skyrim streams than I do Breath of the Wild streams. Okay. I, I guess. I'm not really sure if that's like a big factor. Because if we. I wouldn't. If we start He's, to factor that, like Player Unknown's Battlegrounds comes comes right back into this list, you know what I mean? That that's fair. I'm just kind of like looking for reasons to kind of edge this out <laughs> anyway. Okay, but, I'm like I, I said, I'm okay with Zelda being where at number six where it is right now. I'm just saying I could see Skyrim and GTA Five being above it. I can see yeah, both scenarios. I, I'm leaning is toward Skyrim and GTA being above it personally. I mean, that's fine if we want to do that. Let's do it. it shall okay. it be done? It shall. Yeah, let it be written. The only thing that weirds me out now is that Breath of Wild and Witcher 3 are right next to each other. So? Okay. So? Okay. It's okay. right next to GTA 5 and Skyrim, too. They're all like, that's four <laughs> games in a row that are like, okay. Free roaming, Guys, open world. So, listen, listen. We need to. So, are we moving Overwatch or not? That's the last kind of thing. I. Because I think I, otherwise this list is solid. What yeah. would you suggest? Um, I think. It's would you just fine. suggest switching Diablo three and Overwatch, or leave? Wait, you just said it's fine. I think it's fine. Are you su- are you suggesting just flipping Overwatch and Diablo three, or are you suggesting something more drastic? Is that a question to Colin. Okay. Yeah. Um. Man. Good. Good. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm looking down. The, well, here's Over, the thing, though. It's Overwatch, like, though, Overwatch was the last, like, pro event that I actually attended and went to in PAX South. And I don't know what that means, but I just love Overwatch. I mean, <laughs> I mean League of Legends and StarCraft, I've been doing it way sooner than I'm Overwatch. not saying who's doing it more. I'm just saying that's how much I love this game. Right. And how and, and how I actually got... So here's something else. I got my fiance at the time as well to sit and watch and enjoy Overwatch live. And she's not even a player of the game. And she loved watching it. So you're talking about watching it. And then she even we even talked about what were some of her favorite uh, moments at PAX South uh, 2017. And she picked, you know, watching Overwatch. She thought it was really cool. And she would do it again. And she doesn't even play the game. So I think that speaks to it. They found some real magic with that game. Yeah, but I, I the, mean, the same can be said for StarCraft and especially League of Legends. I know a lot of people who watch League of Legends who don't even play it. I'm only talking about my personal experience, though. Right. That's all I know. So, yeah. I and I only bring this up because Robert mentioned recency bias. Uh, oh, you mean bringing up the fact that Overwatch should be lower? But But Robert also just yeah. said that he's fine with it being number three. Yeah, because the more I think about okay. it, the more I think Overwatch penetrates a wider market than Diablo does. Like, mm. I mean, part of it is me thinking, like, what were they like at launch? And Diablo 3 had a god-awful, horrific launch that was really bad. Overwatch launched very successfully. Um, but I just feel like now, looking at things, I imagine, like, I see way more news about Overwatch than I do about Diablo. And granted, part of that might be that, like, there isn't much news to have with Diablo. I mean, like, they had the Necromancer right. update that was, like, $15. Right. But it's not like, you know, patch patch 3.42. Now there are, there are new weapons, and, like, there are new ways to do competitive, and, like, we're going to change. You will, they do those things, right? But, like, right. who cares? Let me, let me ask you. I'm just throwing this out there. I don't like this question, but should Civ Five be in front of Overwatch and Diablo 3? I don't know the answer to that question. I'm legitimately asking you. I don't know. I don't know. I you, think... Have you considered it? I have, and I think Civ Five has less appeal than Overwatch okay. and Diablo. Okay. 
Well, I'm great with this. Not great, but I'm very good with this list. Robert is good with this list. I don't know if he's just in a rush to get off the show or what. But <laughs> Colin, I know you have questions about Overwatch. So my question again is, what do you suggest? Mm, if you want I Overwatch think, to move. I think we have our list. Is this it? You've molded over and you've arrived at, at this list? Yeah. After I mean, I mean, it's it's hard because I'm not... I'm not wrapped up in the hype that is Overwatch, <clears throat> so I'm 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 coming from an outsider's perspective on it. It's that damn understand. PC that keeps rearing its head. If only you had your PC, you'd know the majesty. You'd play with Robert and I. And I know, like, I know, like, I here, know. Let, Colin, let me put it this way: I'm I'm kind of done with Overwatch right now. I haven't played it in like a month at least, um, but I still like am more than satisfied with where its place is in the list, just because. I know how much that game like digs into you and makes you want to like play it because I think like, an argument that came up a lot in this in this discussion was the whole idea of like playing it with my friends right it's really really fun like Borderlands playing with my friends is very fun um, but when I think of Overwatch when I first played it yeah I only played it with friends but it's one of the first games where that I played with friends and then I booted it up solo and I started playing on my own because I wanted to, not because... Because you wanted to like, get better. I, yeah, because I, I just wanted to play it again. It wasn't the idea of, like, I can't wait for my friends to get online so we can play it. It was just, I want to play it. Fair enough. And I agree with that totally. And also, for bonus points, it's the maddest I've ever seen, Robert. <laughs> is it yeah, Overwatch? It's, <laughs> it's the maddest I've ever seen a lot of my friends, actually, is in Overwatch. <laughs> so that just speaks to the emotional investment. I mean... Look, it, I'm just saying, people are really, really <laughs> dumb on Overwatch. Like, I don't understand people on Overwatch. Don't play quick play, hey, but I Robert heard, I heard it's way play. worse on console, bro. I, I heard it's way, oh, way worse on console. So guys, we are here. We have arrived. Here it is. Tiny and, discs. And an hour, hour and 46 minutes. You're not allowed to talk about time anymore. Okay. The tiny <laughs> yeah, disc sorry. top 10 time suckers in video games. Well, wait, hold on. Here's a question. Er, pump the brakes. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. Number 10, <laughs> Animal Crossing, New Leaf. Number nine, The Witcher 3. Number eight, The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Number seven, GTA 5. Number six, Skyrim. Number five, Civilization 5. Number four, Diablo 3. Number three, Overwatch. Number two, Minecraft. And the number one, Time Sucker in video games of all time by Tiny Disc, World of Warcraft. Guys, you mean wo World of War crack? It is absolutely hey. World of War crack. Yes, uh, guys, we did it. We arrived. We did it. We have an ordered list, top ten, and it was a, it was a, it was a thing. I'm, I'm tired. I need a cheeseburger. <laughs> just, just a specifically a cheeseburger. Ah, I need a cheeseburger, and I need kettle a corn. Kettle corn, I'll be what? okay. I need to lay down. I need to lay down what? after this podcast. Question. Was there something about this podcast that made you think, man, a cheeseburger? Or were you just already kind of feeling one? Cheeseburgers are just, I live man, in the I land. I thought it was Waffle House. No, I mean, hey, can it be both? I, I don't know. Do they Bro. have cheeseburgers at Waffle House? They'll they'll make you a cheeseburger. They'll they'll, right. they'll drum you up something there. They got some sort of mystery meat back I wish there. I wish Waffle House was <laughs> actually good. Dude. Whoa. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Those, them's fighting words. Top 10 worst things Colin hey. ever said. <laughs> Here, listen. We we can we can we can have an argument of Waffle House versus Bob Evans in another podcast. What? Wait, why That's would you close. compare them? That's not even close. That's a no, man. That's like no. Wow. Mm -mm. Whoa. Wrong opinions abound on the Tiny Disc Podcast, guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. Robert, take us home, man. God, oh man, Jesus. get us out of here, for, man. Um, dude. Stop calling. No, 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 no. no Jack's, now. Jack's opinions looking like that thing in the background there. What is that garbage? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is great uh, for auditory entertainment I, so, I don't even have the will to fight i just want a burger <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna do the outro very slowly just to make sure jack uh doesn't think too much about a cheeseburger so if you enjoyed us doing a top 10 list let us know you can email us uh at tiny at gmail.com or if you have disparities with our list or if you think we're just flat out wrong 
send us an email let us know we'd love to hear it we'd love to see feedback or you can tweet to us you can find us on facebook you can find us on all the social medias uh you can hit us up at tinydisc.com and you can find us there we have all our social media buttons right there if you want to have one centralized place to find out where you can send all your angry opinions at um i think that should be it for us so where can we find you guys online on the internet in the twitterverse at boo boo underscore underscore five five on Twitter, aka Colin and Mono. At J A C C E P E D A. All right, cool. And you can find me, Robert Scarpinito, at Pinoptimist, P I N O P T I M I S T. If you enjoyed today's show, tell a friend, leave us a review on iTunes. That'd be wonderful. It'd be the greatest thing you could do for us, and we'd really appreciate it. And I think that should be it. So thank you for listening to the Tiny Disc Podcast. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. Hashtag Roman 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 Roman